Okay, so we are reaching for the uh, final part of uh, module 8. Alright, so we are almost finished. So make sure you stay tuned with me until the end of the video. Yeah. Okay, hi everyone. So now we are in the final part of uh, module 8. Let's continue our lecture. So this is my kind of reminder to all of you. Okay, so these are the objectives uh, for this uh, video. So first of all, I will explain the types of uh, enterprise uh, storage. And uh, next, followed by uh, the identification uh, or the uses of magnetic swipe cards, smart cards, RFID tags, as well as NFC tags. Now, without further ado, let's start. So, first is enterprise storage. Enterprise hardware allows large organizations to manage and store data and information using devices intended for heavy use, maximum efficiency, and maximum availability. Highly available hardware is accessible 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. So to meet these needs, enterprise hardware often includes levels of redundancy, which means that if one component fails or malfunctions, another can assume its task. Some organizations manage an enterprise storage system in-house. Others elect to offload all storage management to an outside organization or a cloud storage provider, a practice which is known as outsourcing. Enterprise storage often uses a fiber channel. Technology as the interface that connects the devices to the network because FC technology has much faster transmission rates than SCSI and other previously discussed interfaces. Now let's start with read. So I already discussed read on the previous video. So computers and enterprise storage devices often use read. Read may duplicate data instructions, and information to improve data reliability. It implements duplication in different ways, depending on the storage design or level being used. The simplest read storage design is level 1, called mirroring, which writes data on two drives at the same time to duplicate the data. Please refer figure 8, 18a. A level 1 configuration enhances storage reliability because if a drive should fail, a duplicate of the requested item is available elsewhere within the array of the drivers. So this is the backup of the drivers. Other words level use a technique called stripping, which splits data instructions and information across multiple drives in the array. So please refer figure 8 18b. Swapping improves drive access times but does not offer data duplication. For this reason, some rate levels combine both mirroring and stripping. Now, let's move to NAS. NAS or Network Attached Storage is a server that is placed on the network with the sole purpose of providing storage to users, computers, and devices attached to the network. A network attached storage server, often called a storage appliance, has its own IP address and contains at least one hard drive, often configured in a read. Administrator can add storage to an existing network quickly by connecting a network attached storage server to a network. So as you can see in figure 819, so this is an example. Then you have SAN or Storage Area Network. This is a high-speed network with the sole purpose of providing storage to other attached services. In fact, a storage area network includes only storage devices. High-speed fiber optic cable usually connects other networks and servers to storage area network so that the networks and servers have fast access to large storage capacities. It can connect to networks and other servers that are miles away using high-speed network connections. 
Both NAS and Sun offer easy management of storage, fast access to storage, sharing of storage, and isolation of storage from other servers. So this is an example of Sun. Now, let's move to the other type of storage, which is magnetic tape. So, tape is a magnetically uh, coated ribbon of uh, plastic that is capable of uh, storing large amounts of data and information at a low cost. Before the use of digital music players became widespread, cassette tapes were a popular medium to store music. Instead, businesses used tape most often for long-term storage and backup. A tape drive will read from and writes on a magnetic tape. Today's tape drive use tape cartridge. A tape cartridge is a small rectangular plastic housing for tape. Enterprises typically use a tape library, where individual tape cartridges are mounted in a separate cabinet. Often a tape robot automatically retrieves tape cartridge which are identified by location or barcode. There are other options available for uh, of storage that are really used for specific users and applications, which include magnetic uh, stripe cards, smart cards, RFID tags, and NFC chips and tags. Now, first, I want to discuss about magnetic stripe cards. So, it is a credit card, entertainment card, bank card, or other similar card with a stripe that contains information identifying you and the card. The card issuer will encode the information in the swipe. The information might include such as the user's name, account number, and the card's expiration date. So when the user swipe the card to a max swipe reader, it will read information stored on the swipe. Then you have a smart card. Smart card stores data on integrated circuit embedded in the card. There are two types of smart card, which are contact and contactless. When you insert a contact smart card in a specialized card reader, the information on the smart card is read and updated. Contactless smart card communicate with a reader using a video frequency, which means the user simply places the card near the reader. Now, let's go to the next type of storage, which is RFID tag. We know that RFID is technology that uses radio signals to communicate with a tag placed in or attached to an object. So RFID tag consists of an antenna and a memory chip that contains the information to be transmitted by radio waves. An RFID reader reads the radio signals and transfers the information to a computer or computing device. RFID tags are either passive or active. An active tag contains a battery that runs the chip's circuitry and broadcasts a signal to the reader. While a passive RFID tag doesn't contain a battery and cannot send a signal until the reader activates the tag's antenna by sending out electromagnetic waves. Then we have NFC chips. NFC is technology that uses close-range radio signals to transmit data between two NFC-enabled devices or an NFC-enabled device and NFC, ta NFC tag. NFC-enabled devices include smartphones, digital cam, computers, televisions, and terminals. An NFC device such as smartphone contains an NFC chip. NFC tag similar to RFID tag which contains a chip and an antenna that contains information to be transmitted. Most NFC tags are self-adhesive so that they can be attached to any location. So that's with the explanation on the final part of module 8. So if you go to from the first up part of the video under this module, so these are the summary of the module. So we already discussed the variety of storage option, the capacity of the storage, the characteristics of the hard disk, as well as the uh, important uh, information on the portable flash memory storage, the advantages of the cloud, 
the characteristics of the optical disc as well as enterprise storage options as well as other storage that available on the market. Okay, so that's all for uh, module 8. So make sure you subscribe uh, my channel and like the videos. See you again. Bye.